So a quick update from the last episode, uh, Nashville partnered up with Carolina to share the Chicago Wolves in the AHL. So that's gonna be a 50-50 split between Nashville and Carolina just to keep their prospects playing. I actually played 28 games for the Chicago Wolves during the 17-18 season uh, when I was on the loan from Toronto. So between being in the NHL with Nashville and Taxi Squad in Nashville, um, Chicago is where I would play my AHL games. Cascasuo is first in the NHL. My mask is finally out for delivery after being delayed in the post and then getting to Minnesota when I already left and then my wife shipping it down here and it's getting delivered today so hopefully um, it'll get there before I hop on the ice but nevertheless excited to finally get my hands on it because uh, to see the awesome work deal airbrush did so hopefully hopefully it gets to the ring. Our new mask should be here and I see two. Finally, look at this thing. Wow, that looks so sharp. Deal did an unbelievable job. Man, I've been waiting for this one. Goes with the pads now. <laughs> this thing looks sweet. Some guys were saying there's a surprise for me at lunch and they were right. Big shout out to the Preds for hooking me up with a vegan meal here for lunch. There's cauliflower, all kinds of veggies here, super food. So pretty pumped about that to finally get my own meal. So once again, thank you Predators. The next day. So I got special meal again. There it is. Look at this. What a service. Wow. New stickers, huh? The Bridgestone doesn't look too bad, kind of sharp. Early the next morning. Day off today, nothing but testing in the morning. Um, but it doesn't mean I get to be in the sheets all day, especially when tomorrow I think we have um, like a game simulation scrimmage. So definitely gotta be ready for that one. So gotta figure out what kind of body maintenance I'm gonna do back at the hotel and just kind of have a active recovery day but I do want to try a vegan spot today that you guys have recommended so I'm not sure which one yet I'm thinking wild cow or gratte maybe so thinking that for lunch today I just went for a little run to get the blood flowing and now it's time to let the hyperbolt do its thing that this pro athlete body slash dad bod has been treated physically we got to fuel it up i did order a burrito from the wild cow for pickup so i'm excited to uh test it out and see what this place is all about
So, what I ordered was Chipotle and black bean burrito and queso and chips on the side. And it's all plant-based from this place, so I love that. Looks good. There it is, queso, all plant-based as well. Gotta try this out right away. Yeah, that's good. Crazy, it tastes like cheese. Wow. First bite, 10 out of 10. Unbelievable. That was dialed. Um, definitely recommend the Wild Cow. East side of Nashville, if you're around here, check it out, even if you're not vegan or plant-based. So um, definitely worth it. The mask is the most important piece of equipment the goaltender has. And for ultimate performance and comfort, my choice is Coveted Mask. All models from Coveted Mask are built with the same fiberglass materials and layers. Everything is handcrafted in Canada with all Canadian suppliers. And all these models are reinforced with Kevlar. Coveted Mask, the Lamborghini of goalie masks. It's game day. Kinda. We're playing a scrimmage today, but it's set up like a game day. So we have um, morning skates for each team and then obviously come back and game time's at seven. So set up like a real game. I'm getting a little nervous actually, even though the plan is, the plan that can change is that I'd play a third period for one of the teams. So yeah, I'm getting, getting a little bit of butterflies. It's been, been about 11 months since I've played. so. I feel like that's that's kind of normal. So, yeah, I'm excited to um, go go through the routines and if I even remember my pregame routines. It's been, it's, like I said, it's been 11 months since I played. So, um, yeah, I think one good thing about not playing in a long time and all these pregame routines and not superstitions, but is to kind of break all the bad habits that you've had before uh, and it's time to start new since. It's been that long since the last game so just uh time to get some new routines going that uh will be beneficial in the long run and change all the pre-game meal to healthier food and um all the habits to uh better warm-ups and all that kind of stuff so um excited for that time to head to the rink for a morning skate and try to get rid of these these butterflies six and a half hours later just woke up from a pre-game nap, haven't had one of these in like 11 months. But uh, before I head down the rink, I'm going to do the Visual Edge um, game day program to get the eyes warmed up. Uh, then it's just getting dressed, grab some coffee on the way and head down. Time to go. I'll see you guys after. Big 8-2 win for Team Blue. Um, first time in 11 months going through the game day routine, so it was definitely fun. Uh, missed it a bunch. Our defense played unbelievable. It was a it was a treat to play behind guys like Yossi and Ellis, Weber, Harper, Boro, and Benning. So those guys did an unbelievable job today. Made mine and Pex's job pretty pretty simple. So. Um, like I said, Pex started the first two periods. I hopped in for the third, and Luke Kunin was able to sneak one, sneak one by me on the, on shorthanded. So, other than that, felt pretty good, confident, and felt right at home. Even though it was a long break from playing a game, so it was it was definitely a good start. And now back at practice tomorrow, and another uh, game day scrimmage the day after that. So, um, kind of keep the camp rolling.
Big thanks to the Tap channel for letting me use this drone footage. The link should be somewhere around here. But that's it for episode number three. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you soon.